Well, we are joined here with Awesome Trinket and Max here. We're gonna make a visual novel on RPG Maker MZ. So what we did before this was go ahead and uh, put in the, download a couple of plugins. Um, the Stella... Vizu Stella? Yeah, I got the name. <laughs> yeah, I got the name right, kind of. <laughs> um, I did have those, uh, they're just sort of on my desktop right now because I wanted to make sure everyone knew how to plug those in to make sure they work. Um, yeah, you said, uh, step one, put in a parallax background to make sure, uh, Yeah, which uh, I was I, I was just like I should have known that, but <laughs> also <laughs> it's and uh, so to get rid of this little guy, you said. Yeah, just a little extra something. So wait, uh, do you ever use the actors, or you just delete them all? Ah, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. Woo, and we don't even need the tiles thing, we could... Yay, this looks... I'm, I'm excited for this one. Um, okay. Uh, would the next step be the plugins? Oh, that's right. And to install them, we just put in the, uh, the plugins up in the game folder? Ah, okay, that's neat. I'm gonna... Oh god. <laughs> okay, sorry, Steam Avatars, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're saying uh, it comes with some very basic plugins, but usually you didn't look into them. Yeah, okay. So, um, I did end up getting the volumes 1 and 3, so all you have to do is... Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Vizuzela. Yay, cool. Okay, and so once you do that, you just activate them through the plugin list, right? Oh! Okay, so... Let's see then. So the stuff at 2 needs to be at the top?
Okay. Okay, just tell me if I do anything wrong. <laughs> So just so y'all know, uh, the plug-in orders does matter again. Whoa. All right, that look good to you. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab that as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I was just like, what am I looking at here? <laughs> oh, shit. I have too much shit open. <laughs> so we're just downloading the core stuff to make sure all the stuff works. I... Totally s slipped my mind while I was downloading the paid stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay, and same thing, you just pl drag them into the plugins, but uh, that could be. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Okay. And it doesn't matter what order they are uh, once you have the same number, right? Oh, I think I already did options. Look. <laughs> Let me check that out, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Now, does this look good to you? Okay, cool. So... Just make sure you get the Visistella core um, core plugins, and if you want the other ones that we're using today, it's the volume one and three that I downloaded.
Yeah, it looks like it. It just makes the box bigger and stuff, right? Oh, okay. That's so neat. Okay. So, what would the next step be? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So that's a good thing. So basically, once you hit start game, it'll automatically do this. So you don't have to do any of the funky stuff. Cool. <laughs> okay. All right, I think what most people are concerned about, most people being me, is uh, how do you show a picture? Ah, uh -huh, smart. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. That's cool. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so... Did you say you wanted to do the variables later? Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh. Just in case people are not familiar, which I'm sure you are. Oops. Sorry, oops. Uh, I was just uh, gonna talk about real quick. The X is the horizontal, the Y is the vertical. Just in case anyone was wondering. Okay, the uh, slight, slight uh, tangent there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, teach me, please. <laughs> oh, common events right there. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, wow.
Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh Oh. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so, um, sorry, what? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, um, okay, so I just do that twice.
Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should show Frankie. Uh, let's see. Actually, we could just show in game. <laughs> You'll see her. Uh, awesome Trinket has created Frankie for this little uh introduction to visual novels. Um. So did I do everything right, or did I miss something up here? Oh, okay, nice, nice. All right, cool. So, okay. Uh, through here. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> so would that be the same variables then x and y cool <laughs> that's cool speaking of talking um is that is our dialogue set up the same way as it would be, or do we have to do something special? Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> My name's Ian. Okay. We go ahead and see what that looks like. Whoa, what? Is this is this new to MZ? I can't believe I never knew that. Holy shit. I can't believe I've been wasting my time. <laughs> I've been calling this RPG was meant for visual novels. <laughs> we'll give it a hot second, I guess. Oh my god, you couldn't hear Trinket? That's so much of the exclamation. I'm so sorry. Holy shit. Okay. Thank you, Captain. I'm so sorry, Trinket. Oh no! Oh. We weren't capturing sound, were we? Oh... Uh, at least there's visuals, but holy shit. Yeah, whoops. Hi, Captain, I'm sorry. Oh, no. 
I'm sorry, Trinket. Hi, hi. It's it's okay. It's okay. Mistakes happen. Okay, that whole time I was talking to you, and you could tell that Trinket was teaching me how to put all this mm -hmm. stuff together. Yep, yep. Go back and dub it. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could. You should uh, make me sound insane by, like, uh... <laughs> 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 like uh, pretending to have a conversation with me. Mood. Okay, I'll make you just a tad smaller. Okay. There we go. One of these, mm -hmm, one of these days, I will make myself an actual stream avatar. I just haven't, I just haven't really had the time to do it yet because I've been swamped with work. <laughs> it's okay. Yep, but luckily this is my last week before I graduate. Yay! Congrats on mm -hmm. close to graduation. Yep, final week. They edit the questions of the opium just like a fool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the one bad thing I, I don't like about is uh, streaming RPG Maker. I can't see the chat immediately, so it must have been a while then. Oh, well. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Trinket. Okay, let's see. Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, what's with that? Wait, wait, hang on. The The dev window only pops up when there's a- Oh, wait, wait, oh. we got her! Yay, oh, there my she God, is! Frankie, yo. Frankie! This looks so good, holy. Any kid? I know, right? Yeah. Now, usually, usually I set it up for like a little bit of extra extra customization, but we can worry about all that later. We just want to get all the basics set up because I know you're running on the same high that I was when I figured everything out. Oh yeah, absolutely. This looks mm -hmm. okay. I know this one problem is the I'm not seeing the parallax for some reason. It's because oh yeah, that that happens when you when you directly play test within the event. Oh, when you when you okay. play test exactly by itself, it does show the parallax. That is something that I figured out a while ago. Okay, so no need to panic right now. Yeah, it made me nervous too, but it is normal within play testing of the event. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, sorry, still freaking you about uh, about my mistake. <laughs> Okay. Set up your shower curtain. Okay, have a good shower curtain. Mm-hmm. Okay, wow, that's... Wow, I mean, and, and still so, nah, that was... Not that no! hard to set up and stuff, so, I mean, like... <laughs> this is nice, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I'm able to do this. I know, yeah! The fact that you can just you can just use RPG Maker as a visual novel engine without really knowing a lot of code, it has helped me so much with with feeling like I can make games. Cuz like knowing I just have this at hand and I don't really have to understand too much of actual code to make VNs has helped me so much. Yeah, and it looks real good and uh you saw the entire process like there was nothing there until me and Trinket just set this up together. Which Trinket was mm -hmm. teaching me the entire time, you just couldn't hear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so we wanted after, to- Oh, go ahead. After that, it's just a lot of showing text, sending up the common events, etc, etc. Because with visual novel stuff with RPG Maker, most of it is all just in the writing. Because, like, with the coding stuff, it's just the bare bones setup that I showed you. Yeah. Now, mind you, you will have to tinker with stuff on the fly. There will be times where you have to, like, figure something out within the code, but most of it will actually just be in the writing and calling upon the common event that I set up with the talking. Yeah, um, speaking of that, um, mm -hmm. we were about to, we were focusing on choices and stuff, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so whenever it's silent, say we have, like, a narrator or something for the sake of showing her not, uh talking and stuff how would we set that up well you would just call upon the common event that we just set up so you click you click to set up the event command you hit flow control common event and then you just hit okay because you have we already have it set up to talking oh okay Mm-hmm. and this will call upon the common event 
the common event that we set up, and it'll make the variable silence go go to one, push Frankie down, tint her dark, and then when you're ready, you just call it again, and it'll set the the talking to oh. zero, and it'll push her back up. Holy shit! Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay. And then once you do this again, and then make her talk again. Mm-hmm. She's never said uh, anything without an exclamation point yet. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Test. And now we just test out that whole event. Hey, hi sushi. Wait, she oh, says hi, hi sushi. <laughs> We're making a visual novel. Also, yeah, you mm -hmm. said the thing pops up when there's something wrong or something. Oh. Mm. Hang on a second. I th I think I think in the core engine there's a there's an option for that devlog to always pop up when you play test. I know if it happened, I would have turned it off immediately because it keeps worrying me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out yeah, let's um, hear. Well, in the core later. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a thing in the core engine. I think the default is true because I have it set to false for open console on boot. <laughs> okay, yeah, that that definitely worries me too. But yeah, everything's okay, right, Frankie? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Uh huh. Wow. How long did it take you to figure that out? Um, the common event thing that I just showed you, I only figured that out, like, a week ago. Because cause before that, I would just set it up completely manually. Like, oh instead of using gosh. variables, I would have set Frankie number one and number two to X200, Y0. And when the narrator was talking, I would have to manually tint her, set, set her Y variable, her Y coordinate to 15, and so on and so forth. Oh, okay, so that's the thing you were talking about before in chat, mm -hmm. about making it much yeah. faster. <laughs> Yep, yep. And it makes it makes it much cleaner to read through the actual dialogue and edit it too. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, and you don't have to worry about about like if you were to change her expression, you don't have to worry about it getting bungled up because as long as you set it all to the variables, it'll all just instantly latch onto the coordinates you set up ahead of time. Whoa, okay. That's cool. Sorry, I'm just going mm -hmm. to the core engine to check out uh, if I could make that. Oh, yeah, I totally understand that. That's <laughs> probably one of the first things that you want to turn off. Okay. Uh, is it on this? Oh, it's in quality. No, it's in quality of life settings. Oh, quality of life. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Core engine. And then in the quality of life parameters, right up top, right below attention. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep and opal console open console and boot is automatically set to true you just want to trigger that to false ah okay so there's a whole yep. bunch of stuff you could change in the stuff here too mm -hmm. wow that's yeah pretty i've cool. never really tinkered around with it too much i pretty much just went in there to change some minor stuff and to disable the boot ah cool okay and uh inter interesting thing to say here is uh the new game is whether or not you want to uh what's it called have the start game up you know usually it'll say oh do you want to do a new game blah 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 blah. oh but this one instantly yeah puts us to it, it has a choice for you to instantly mm -hmm. go straight into it yeah mm-hmm Plus, fun fact, as of the new RPG Maker MZ update, when you're playtesting, and only when playtesting, you can set it to just completely skip the title screen, the title screen and just jump straight in. Ah, oh, that's neat. They are yeah. making it easier for you all. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, this probably won't work if you have a plugin where it like sets up a map as your title screen, but if you're just using a regular title screen, a la we are right now, it just instantly goes straight into the first event. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Speaking of title screen... And if not... Oh, go ahead. And if not the first event, it just... Oh. If it doesn't jump to the first map, it just jumps straight to where you start the player in. Uh, and since we have Raid, or what used to be Raid, starting right here, we should be all good. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Mm-hmm. 
I guess the other question I have right now then would be uh, how to change the expression. Oh, so you want to go to show picture number two. You can just copy paste that. Mm -hmm. And you want to set it right below the talking event that sets that sets Frankie up. If if you're and actually, hang on, where do you want her expression to change? Do you want to change before or after she says hello to the narrator? Uh, I guess it could be before. Yeah. Oh. You want to set it below, right below. right before the next talking event. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So it'll be like show picture, then comment event, and then show text. Ah, okay. Yep. So we, so we click on that. And then we can just we just change what picture is shown. We don't have to change anything else. Ah, oh, okay. So I guess she'll be smiling. <laughs> It'll be expressions. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she'll be smiling, smiling when talking mm -hmm. to the narrator. Hello, narrator. And then we could go ahead and test from there, and hopefully yep, it yep. won't scare us with the log. <laughs> yeah. Yay, it was the boot log. It's Yay. been it's sorry, it's just been so long since I turned that off, I forgot it was there. That's okay. <laughs> yep. Oh wow, that's there really we neat. Go. You got mm -hmm. this down. Yeah. I've been making RPG Maker visual novels for like a little over two years now, so I know pretty much the ins and outs of almost everything. That's amazing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Now that 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 same thing works for changing the base pose too, except instead of changing picture number two, you just change picture number one. Okay. Actually, uh, we wanted to make this a teaching thing. Um, yep. I should be changing the dialogue to make, to reflect that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure everything worked first before we start working on the dialogue. That's, That's usually what I do. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I'll go ahead and change her pose in the next one, which would make the same thing. Yep. Except. yep, except this time you don't have to set up the common event talking because she's still talking. Ah, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. putting too many numbers up in here. And then yeah. we change the base. Base number two. Ah, cool. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, did I miss something up? Is there a distinction between... Oh, it's it's fine to be number one because that's the... Uh... Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, number one is the base and number two is the expression. I always have it set up like that where the odd number, the lower odd number is the base and the higher even number is the expression. Ah, that's smart, smart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Trey says you have a nice, excellent teaching voice. Thank you. <laughs> this is, like, my first time really actually teaching someone about something on voice, so that's very nice to hear. Thank you. Okay. Now we can see her be a poser mm -hmm. in the good way. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you ever heard Captain Troy, but he also sounds like he'd have a really good talking, uh, speaking voice. Oh, I actually haven't heard yet. <laughs> you might tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Ooh. him and Moth are uh, joining us. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow. It's very... Uh, things like this is just, like, blows my mind. <laughs> I know, right? I felt the exact same way when I figured it out with de Desperation Reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Was there anything else you do want to talk about specifically? Yeah, Trace voice. Um, 
Um, right now, I think we've just, we've already covered like 90% of visual novel making stuff. Really? The specifics, yeah, the specifics of what I get into of like audio, audio cues, sound effects, etc. That can all be worried about later because right now we have the bare bones of what we need to do. So are you telling me in less than 30 minutes, you could set up something like this? Yeah, pretty much. And then after that, you just tinker with the specifics until you get it the way you like it. Huh. I always thought it was like this big, impossible sort of, uh, kind of ordeal, yeah. but, like, yeah, thanks to you. Yeah, it feels that way. Yeah, it feels that way, because you have no idea what you're doing at first. But if you have someone to just boil down the exact specifics that you need, it goes by so much quicker. Yeah, I mean, like, if you have a really good teacher like you, I mean, uh, less than 30 minutes you. is all you need to set it up. Cause yep. Yep, yep. Is... And uh, did you figure this out, like, just through yourself, trial and error? Yeah, solely through myself. The only time where I saw where I sought out outside help was like for plug-in specific stuff. Everything else was me doing trial and error, mostly error. That's impressive. Uh huh. Yeah, Troy says it's uh, really daunting, but listening mm -hmm. is nice to hear from you. Yep. If anything, setting up an RPG Maker visual novel might be easier than doing a regular RPG Maker game, because with this, you only have to worry about like the auto runs events and showing text and parallaxes. Whereas with like an RPG Maker game, you have to worry about tile sets, setting up events here and there, and if you're one of those games, then you have to set up battles too. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like. uh... I, mm -hmm. I think I told you previously I had Visual Novel Maker and I was just like so confused. I was like, what the heck is... Oh, and... yeah, I hate... I hate VN Maker. <laughs> but with this, it's just you helping mm -hmm. me less than 30 minutes. Yeah. I got it. I was just like, I think I could do what I wanted in less than 10 minutes now if I wanted to yeah. do what I was, I was making. And it looks yeah, so good. Yeah, exactly. Yep. If you wanted to make another VN, you can just use this as your example and pretty much just copy-paste everything. Oh yeah, this is this is staying with me, and <laughs> if you feel like it, oh, I can yeah, upload it. <laughs> Depending on how how nice we make this. Depending on how we feel about it, I think that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, shall we start making this into a game? Yeah. Okay. Um, was there any specific uh kind of thing you think people should know, or you want to talk about? Hmm. Well, if I had to get into something very specific, I would say that if you want to have it where your parallax is constantly changing, like you're changing background, so like maybe Frankie goes from the the classroom to the hallway, oh, you do yeah. not want to do you do not want to do the change parallax background in the event command because oh. it's gonna look fine at first, but if you save the game, you exit out and you come back, it's gonna it's gonna be in the original parallax. So instead of being in the hallway, she'll be back in the classroom. Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they fixed that from M V to M Z, but unfortunately it's still there. So I just do my workarounds. Okay. Um here, let's let's download another picture and see how that would go. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Don't look, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think yep. you had that. Just direct me to the picture that you want from Uncle Mooga, and I can set it up really easily for okay. the eighteen six for the eight sixteen by six twenty four. Okay, I'm trying to remember where you put it. Uh, um, oh, it should be. On. I guess. Where not. did I put it? At? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did. It's oh. right <laughs> above the Vigi style stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah, I just didn't do a preview for some reason, which is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Troy doesn't perceive. <laughs> <laughs> Do not perceive. Okay, yeah, like say she's going into town or something. Mm-hmm. Wait. Ooh, if you want to do the city urban backgrounds, that works good too, because they're my personal favorite of Moog and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do that, and I'll send you the picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we talked about this off-stream, but uh, for the regular... Size for MZ, what should it be? Um, well, personally, I like to set all my visual novels for 1920 by 1080, but you can make your visual novel pretty much any size that you want. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I... if you if you want to change it, if you actually want to change the UI, it's super easy in MZ. It's actually in the database. Oh, really? Yeah, you just go to System 2 in, in the database. 
and you you just you just change the screen width oh. and the screen height. Oh my gosh! I didn't even notice uh -huh. all this was here. <laughs> yeah. You even change the tile size. Uh huh. I think you want to change the UI area width and the height too to to match with the screen width, but it's not necessary. It just makes it look nicer if it's like more akin to what it is. Ah, uh, okay. I feel that. Cool. <laughs> Also, thank you for the like, Troy. Um, okay, so well, how would we fix that uh, conundrum? Oh, wait, you're still taking a picture, sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Anyway, so if we want to fix that, the, the thing with the RPG Maker thing, where <laughs> it doesn't save the parallax, you just want to set up a new, you just want to set up a new map, and you want to set it to that parallax. Ah, okay. Yep. So for now, and then I'll just you just yeah, it's almost done. We can just plop it in in an instant. Oops. Hold on. There we go. I don't like when the maps just like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm downloading the thing. Mhm. Mm And then I, I think we also didn't show this in stream, but all you have to do is download the thing, go ahead and yep. put it in uh, the image. Image and then, then parallaxes. Yep. 99% of what you'll be dealing with in the RPG Maker files will be in image pictures and image parallax. Yeah, and then I'll just show up here if I could remember what it was called. Mm -hmm. um, town Daytime. Ah, there we go. Oh, that reminds there me, I should ask, does the map size have to be anything specific, or it doesn't matter? It, it actually does matter. So, it, it depends on your screen width, actually. So, like, 18, so 816 by 624, that's, that's okay. The default map size that should they give you is okay, especially... Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to make sure that the tile size is 48 by 48, though, because that's how that's how they they make the map size based on the tiles and not the actual pixel width. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. But 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 something I want to point out is that if you do 1920 by 1080, you will not be able to get a perfect map size based off of it. The, oh. the best I can. Yeah, the best I can do is 40 by 23, which is a little bigger than it actually is, but it doesn't matter if you just do a 1920 by 1080 parallax. Okay. Yep, it'll repeat it'll repeat the parallax a little at the bottom within the editor, but within the game itself, you won't even be able to see it because it's the exact size that you need. Okay. So then... Um... So for... So for now, since we since we're doing the nine, the eight sixteen by six twenty four, we don't have to change the map size at all. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least we clarified that. So yeah, doing the defaults, this uh, having the default map, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um. Did you uh? So in order to change the background, then do we have to change? Transfer the you player. do have, yeah, you do have to transfer the player. Now, I I know it the fade in fade out is built in, but what I like to do is fade out screen, transfer player, and then fade in the screen in the separate map. Okay, so we'll have to do an auto run. Yep. Yep. All your events will be auto run. And fade in screen. And when mm -hmm. do we have to do the show picture again? Um, nope. It carries over the pictures unless you specifically say, "Hey, move the picture over here." Or, hey, erase these pictures before you transfer the player. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. But at this point, at this point, you can't you can't just play test it from the event in order to make sure that the transfer works. Because sometimes it works, but sometimes it just doesn't move over to the other map. So I just immediately play test through the whole game to make sure. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll go yeah. ahead and test that then. Mm-hmm. 
and we'll actually get to see how the background looks. So that's a little bit of a, pop, mm -hmm. of a plus. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. And mm -hmm. there's a CG gallery. The <laughs> yeah, the CG gallery thing was part of Vigistal's thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is all the base stuff that they set up. Okay. Okay, anyways. Cool. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, that will work well. Yep. Okay. Um the what else am I wondering about? Okay, uh if it, we want to make it look like she's moving or making space for someone else, uh how would we do that? Uh actually, this now you would now you will be using variables for this instead of just manually changing it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, we're going to control variables. Uh-huh. And then we set person 1x to uh we set the default as 200, right? Yeah. So, let's say 100 or 400. Okay. And now mm -hmm. after that, we would do, we want to do move picture. We, we will be repeating this for one and two, but we'll set it up with one. So we move picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I would, and then we just designate with the variables, person one X and person one Y. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. And the specifics of how much you want to move and whether you want to wait for completion or not, that's entirely up to you. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. for the sake of this, sure. And then, okay. duration, do you have a recommendation? Um, personally, I would just make sure that it's not too fast or too slow. So, since she's going from 200 to 100, I would say, um, maybe 40 frames? Okay. Okay. And we want to make sure to copy-paste this for the second picture, too, so her body and her face move at the same time. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When you're doing two pictures, when you're moving two pictures, you want to make sure that the very last one, the only one, is the only one that waits for completion. The uh, other one, you want to make sure you specifically oh, check yeah, out. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Otherwise, it'd be kind of freaky looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was a good tip. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And so, she would move like that. Yep, yep. Okay. She will move a little bit to the left, and then we'll say something like, Oh, sorry, someone someone was coming over. Okay. Actually, Trinket, can you give me one second? Sure. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Ba ba da ba da 
だらだだだだだだだだだだだはい、こんにちは。Yeah, we want to change it in between saying we're in the city and and before control variable. Okay. Let's see if I know how to do this myself first. Okay. Okay, cool. Does that look right? Yep, yep, you did it all right. Yay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then they move. Mm hmm. I'm curious to see what that looks like. Yep, yep. There will be a slight delay because you're playtesting because of the fade in screen, but that's okay. That's, that's normal. Oh,、uh, okay. Yeah, so, so probably wait for like a few frames before it actually says, now we're in the city. Ah,、uh, okay, that's right. Yeah. Ah,、uh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, if you were playtesting via the full game, it will look much more natural. Yeah, as opposed to just、um, the thingy. Instead of just popping out of nowhere, yeah. Because it's all building off of itself. Um. I guess we could wait, like. Yeah, a second or something. Okay, cool. Oh, that's, that's just one frame.、Uh, 60 seconds, 60 frames is equivalent to a second. Oh, okay. I was... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so we learned how to do the parallax.、Mm -hmm. We learned how to move.、Um, yep. Anything else you had that you wanted to talk about?、Mm. I think after that, we can talk about show choices and stuff like that. Okay. So, to get to there, you go into tab、mm -hmm. one. Yep, tab、right、one.、Here. Show choices. Show choices. Now, personally, for canceling, when it comes to visual novel stuff, I like to completely disable canceling because you don't want to have it where the player is spamming the skip text and then they accidentally cancel. <laughs> yeah, and that's it gives true. Them points too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Since this is a teaching visual novel, what if we make this show choice about teaching and say, wow, how did you do that? Or, oh, that's interesting. So if you say, how did you do that? We could we could launch into a little explanation of how Frankie moved. And if you say, oh, that's interesting, then we can just move on to the next lesson. Ah, OK. Sounds good to me. Mm hmm. And if you if you want to if you want the game to set up so this way Frankie Frankie after after the choice responds differently based on what you said you can you can make it so this way you hit a switch for say wow how did you do that so when you say how did you do that you say switch asked about choice one on and this way afterwards you can select a collect a conditional branch that says if choice one is on then Frankie will says now that we've gone through our lesson and so on oh that's smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you want to do this at the end of the show choices branch. Additional branch. And you want to make sure that's an if else branch. So this way you have two different ways that she responds. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep, and if you and for the else branch, we can say something like "we can continue on," or something like "let's continue on." Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, um. So this is sort of related. Um. Yeah. So when you show, uh, say you have an item, like you showed in uh, Finding Over a Corpse, whenever you had an item, is that uh, slightly different from how you would show a character? Yeah, that that's just showing a picture, but like you manually set it up, because you aren't having them talking or moving up and down. Oh, okay. So the reason I asked uh -huh. that is because I feel like, um, what was I going to say? Would it be too much to show here, like holding up a picture of the <laughs> events? <laughs> Oh no, of course not. That's that's actually the kind of mental image that I had. Like, here's an example of how I moved. Oh, okay. I could yeah. go ahead and take a screenshot. Yeah. I'm sure that you could do it in a more convenient way. I'm sure you could set up a variable and a common event for that too, but we're not gonna delve into that just yet because quite frankly, I haven't messed with it too much. Yeah, to same. reasonably give advice. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna do just the events, but I mean, I guess I can just take a picture of uh, this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is the take picture portion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the second one to make sure the expression is also moved. Mm hmm. Also, since we're doing this by like an 816 by 624, I would probably recommend at least cropping it a little bit so this way you only show you only show the bare necessities. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh like this. Hold on one sec. Yep, yep. So she'd say something like they look like this. Mm-hmm. like that and then you just crop off all the excess so this way it can fit within it because you can scale the width and the height but i know that it tends to look a little ugly at times yeah i feel that <laughs> yeah oh, so usually i just try to make sure i just try to make sure that everything is within the game's width okay mm-hmm and just a little quality of life tip, I would usually put these examples in a different folder within the picture, so this way you can just instantly drop in and get them. Ah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Because MZ finally allows it, and I am still happy about it. <laughs> so writing the pictures like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you want to do a separate subfolder, too, so it's not just lost in the sea of Actor 1, Actor <laughs> 2, Actor 3, etc. That's true, that's like a good old... Mm -hmm. Yep, so examples goes in, and then that picture goes in. Cool. 
Mm-hmm. And she'd do the pointy thing. Uh, let's see. Yep, Actually, yep. maybe we should give an explanation first. Um, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to do the faces. Okay, well... Unless you're doing, like, Gal's message bust for something, you just... You don't use the faces at all. Yeah, that's uh, interesting to me. Mm-hmm. What... If we do another stream, we'll talk a little more about the specific plugins, like message bust, because I did use that for the Kawasim a few times. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. We could talk about different messages and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, what'd you say the, the base thing was again the variables that you told me to put it was all that z uh person what? it was just person x and person y that uh was it um the regular was 200 the regular was 200 for x and the y was zero Okay. Oh, which is good. Okay. So I'll show her, um... Yep. Doing the point thing. Show picture. You want to make sure that it's not one or two, because then it'll replace Frankie. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So the picture is yeah. completely tied to them. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Completely linked in every way. Uh, I was confused for a second there. I was just like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yep. and so you now we aren't setting this up with variables, so we would have to directly link it up in some way. All right, so what coordinates do you think would work now? Mind you, these coordinates they this is actually where most of the visual novel stuff comes in with manually tinkering and tweaking stuff, yeah, to make it look uh exactly mm -hmm. the way we want it to exactly be exactly the way you want it. Yep, so she's standing in 100 and is approximately. Mm -hmm. Well, remember you also have to remember you also have to remember how big how big the example image is. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if nothing else, we can use scale for the width and the height, but it's not my favorite thing to use. Ah, uh, that's true. Uh, let's see if how this looks first. I know I'm probably gonna be wrong about that, but. Uh... We'll go ahead and try it anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the whole thing about this is uh, mostly trial and error, huh? Yep, yep. Trial and error, mostly error. Especially when it's trying something new. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the way you say that makes me feel like there's a lot of experience there. Yeah. Uh, 
Maybe uh, I could just have uh, one, to be honest. Honestly, yeah. One of the we can just show one of the move pictures, yeah. And then say that, uh, do the same thing for the second one. Picture two, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then move picture two a little to the right. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, this picture, rather. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Let me edit that real quick. So the good part mm -hmm. is you could just edit the, <laughs> the yep. picture up. And you don't then... have to completely rename or remake or anything, you just tweak it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And that's half of game making, really, is uh, a lot of trial and error. There's going to be a lot of, um, what's it mm -hmm. called? Play testing, messing, tinkering. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm hmm. But, you know, still, I still really love doing stuff like this. It's just really interesting. Yeah, me, me. too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Plus, it feels really good when everything all comes together. Exactly. Like, just uh, during the start of this, I was just like, wow, that's pretty damn amazing. I know. <laughs> and say, this looks amazing when we start this, I'll, I'll have the exact same feeling. Mm -hmm. And it, it feels like a, a sort of thing that you beat, you know? It feels satisfying mm -hmm. once you figure out the... Yeah. Ins and outs. Mm-hmm. I said left, even though I should have said right, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. That looks much oh, better. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. Cool. I know it's blocked a little bit by the message box, but it does have the hide button, so you can hide it easily. Oh, holy shit. Yep. Yep, and you just click it again to bring it back. That's part of the Vigistella extended message function with the Vigistella <laughs> message visibility. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Yep. Oh, so, we, we oh. could probably mention that too. Like, oh, if you want, you can check, you can click hide to see the full picture here. Okay. Hide in the message box, I mean. Okay, um, move, where did I mention left? Ah, there we go. Yeah. The other thing that's really funny is I often misspell things, and <laughs> just like, oopsies. <laughs> Me too, yeah. Okay, yeah, we actually did move to 255, not to... 200, what was I talking about? I'm just making numbers oh, no, up two, now. No, 255 is the, is the transparency of the of the images. Oh. Yep. 255 is the full amount, and zero means it's completely transparent. Okay, 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 okay. So we did mm -hmm. set it at 200 to 100, and then we moved to... Yep, okay, yep. okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, just trying to make my, my stuff make sense here. <laughs> oh, no, I understand. The thing that gets me the most is the numbers. Yeah. Okay. And while we do that, I'm gonna change her picture as well to show the pointing, uh... Yep. Most of the show picture and stuff here for, like, change expressions is just copy-pasting with only changing the image. That makes it much easier for me. Ah, yeah, that's true. Okay, I yeah. guess so show picture number one, and then we change it from base one or base two. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. yeah, we should do that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. She looks great. She does. You did such a good job on her. Mm -hmm. Ah, cool. Yep. We could probably have a lesson later on about setting up that common event with the variables versus like manually doing it. Mm -hmm. But we don't have to worry about right that second. We're just we're just worrying about the bare basics, such as showing choices, switches, etc. Yeah, and we could keep. Uh, we don't have to make the entire tutorial right now. We could uh, keep going oh, yeah, as we go, no. as long as you'd love to keep yeah. coming on. Yeah, of course, bits at a time. Yay! Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I know you're probably really busy with. All the stuff you're doing as well. Oh, don't worry. Like I said, I'm graduating very, very soon, so I should have a lot more time on my hands to work on sprites and stuff for commission. Okay, good. Did you say mm -hmm. commission? As in, uh, awesome trinket on Twitter kind of commission? I got what you did. Yeah, that. <laughs> yep, yep. You know what? Uh, let me go ahead and write that down mm -hmm. here and pin it for the rest of the stream. Yay! Did you hear about Twitter, by the way? Are they really going to change the name and logo of it? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could still find Trinket there. Let me find the app button. There we go. Mm-hmm. Then... How do you... Him. Pin. Yeah, there we go. Pin that message. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Open to comms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my commissions page is very much pinned as my first tweet, but the rest of it is just me posting, retweeting stuff. That's awesome. I'm mm -hmm. really proud of you, by the way. Um. Oh, when is oh, voting thanks. opening for uh, voting over Eclipse? Oh, oh, voting has been open for like a few days, actually. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. I got to do that. Let me, yeah. <laughs> Let me just open that up real no, quick. No rush. No rush. And check that out. The first mm -hmm. and only result. Okay. Yeah, y'all make sure to <laughs> make sure to head here, too. It's a yep. really amazing game. We also played on stream a couple times and Every single time I play it. And the big bug is finally busted. <laughs> and I feel lucky to have you, like, here teaching me right now. I'm just like, after I was literally honestly, in awe. Honestly, I'm lucky to be with you, too. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, I was in, we were all in awe when we were playing that game. And yeah. to be able to be taught by you to do it is really awesome. Yeah. It's actually very simple once you know the basics, the rundowns that I just gave you. <laughs> um, okay, you were saying something and then I interrupted you. <laughs> you wanted oh, to get... Uh, uh... Hang on, I'm trying to think of it. Eh, it might not have been important because I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, you were saying something about variable of uh, setting up the pictures? Oh yeah, I was gonna say that later on we could probably have a lesson about about setting up the setting up the pictures via variables and setting them up manually, but we don't have to do that right now because right now we're just running down through the bare bones basics. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think maybe we can make Frankie mention later on. We will be talking about what these person one x and person one y variables mean. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Uh, and to get rid of that picture, we the uh the example we picture. Hit. Then we hit erase picture, number three. Oh, and we're done. Cool. Yeah. I I I never really knew it was like this. I I just. <laughs> It's interesting to me, just learning about all this. I'm getting so, so much knowledge right now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like turning RPG Maker into a visual novel engine also really helped me to know the ins and outs of what it's capable of. <laughs> and it, it is cap more capable mm -hmm. than y'all think. There's a lot of examples of amazing things, including what, yep. what you've made that can be Thank done with RPG Maker. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I have absolutely zero experience on is battles and like and like balancing for like fights. Yeah, that's that's a toughie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Even experienced RPG maker devs tend to have problems with balancing in games. Yeah, it's definitely tough because it's either way too dang hard or way too dang easy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sometimes it's hard to find that thing, and that that has a lot to do with numbers too, right? Yeah. And just like, eh. <laughs> yeah. I think RPG Maker has a way to, like, manually set up the balancing ahead of time. So, like, maybe you define X, you define a bunch of stuff, and then it just does the work for you, but it still requires some fine-tuning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that reminds me that MZ does have a lot of base, uh, what's it called? Stats and stuff, unlike mm -hmm. uh, MV, which... Made it, it wanted you to do everything from scratch, basically. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny. Okay. That's interesting. You're not gonna ask me yep. what it was? I'm not just joking. <laughs> Frankie <gave me. laughs> Oh, Frankie. You ain't gonna ask me. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> And then after that, uh, she'll say, now, let's continue on then. Mm-hmm. Yep, so this way, depending on if we give an explanation or we already know what's going on, she'll be like, well, now that we figure it out, let's continue. Yeah, that sounds so good. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, it is very easy to get lost in the weeds with making all of these intricacies and stuff. It's probably best to keep it small, especially if this is your first visual novel project. Yeah, you don't want to have a 40, yeah. 30 hour. Yeah. You know, Steins mm -hmm. Gate, <laughs> Higurashi yeah. kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Learn from my mistakes. My first visual novel project is 90,000 words and still going. Don't be like me. Yeah. I've I've heard that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Were you talking? I need about... to like actually make an update to it at some point soon. Was that the the demo that I played of yours, or were you talking about something else? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's the dating sim. My very first real RPG maker project as a whole, and my first VN in it. That's so awesome. Mm-hmm. It's really funny. I recommend y'all play it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 90,000 words. My I didn't mean for it to get that big. I thought it was just going to be like 20,000, but then by the time I got day two out of ten, it was like 30,000. I'm like, well, I guess this is happening. <laughs> Wanted to play Steins Gate? Wanted to watch Steins Gate, yeah. yeah. I was curious about Steins Gate. Becoming honestly, a I show. am too. Yeah, and... mm -hmm. yeah. This may sound weird, but I've never played like a bunch of big name VNs. Like I played Doki Doki Literature Club, but most of the stuff I do is like small indie stuff I found on itch.io. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm hmm. I haven't played the long ones either. Same yeah. with you. I I've uh, done the smaller indie ones. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I believe we've learned a lot today, <laughs> just from the start. Yeah. Yep. We have learned, like, the huge majority of what it takes to make an RPG Maker visual novel. Yep. In just this, mm -hmm. uh, 
short session, we've learned how to get the picture, change the pose, um, move mm -hmm. the picture, and yep. even change backgrounds. Yep, and the most efficient way to set that up so this way it sounds like that she's talking and whatnot. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that that was yeah. uh, one really uh, highlight to me is how it looks when yeah. you're like talking and not talking. Yeah. And this is something, this was something I hadn't worried about during Desperation Reincarnation because I hadn't had people moving up and down for talking. So it got a little confusing about who was talking. So I decided to rectify that in my other game. And that's how I figured out there was a so much more efficient way than to just manually set it. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that common event one more time and then mayhaps we could mm -hmm. save more lessons for next time. Sure. Sure. Okay. Talking. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe I should do the talking right here. Because that's yeah. what he's asking. And then yep, yep. again, when she talks again. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm learning too. <laughs> Yay! Find out next time. Yep. <laughs> okay let's go through the whole thing and we'll just sort of run through it mm -hmm. yep later on in like a future thing we can talk about like audio mixing and stuff but right now we just want to make sure that it works yeah the real advanced stuff that i'm curious about asking you <laughs> yeah I have loads and loads of questions, but for now, like, getting the base, just like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, looks like she actually did move to the left. Yeah. Oh, she did? Yeah, yeah, it's set up. yeah, it's one of those things where it has to, like, build up on each other, and you can't just, like, plop it in immediately and then go. Oh, damn, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I yeah, guess... it's hard to remember if you don't if you don't specifically keep in mind that we are looking at an isolated event that isn't, <laughs> that has been built up before. Okay, okay, okay. So she, mm -hmm. she did move to the left, because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah. That's right, thanks for uh, pointing that out, because sometimes when you test oh, them, no it'll be, you'll be in a different yeah. position than... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I rectify that by temporarily setting it up, so this way she's at the position I want, and then I remove it for the final game. But we don't really do that most of the time. I'm gonna make a thumbnail of <laughs> Oh, yeah, that works. And then, uh, I'll edit yeah. your picture up in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, and one, one last thing. If you're doing an auto-run event, unless you do something specific, like you hit self-switch to A, and then you set up a separate event that hits that... That has nothing and it only activates on action, then the event will start repeating itself. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, that really confused me when it first happened and it kept repeating. I'm like, why is it doing that? <laughs> there we go. Cool. Mm hmm. Nice. And then, uh, one mm -hmm. more thing. I'll see. Oh. Oh, I could have sworn I had more. Oh, I know what happened. Oh, I didn't... It wasn't yeah. an L, so... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the narrator is in... Was was only in the wow, that's interesting section. Oh, okay, so what I should do is mm -hmm. put this after the end. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. But one really good... Th one really good thing that helps in MZ is that you get to collapse all the choices too. So now you so now you don't get lost in the weeds. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. 
uh-huh. At MV, you don't get that choice, which is really <laughs> annoying if you have, like, conditional branches within branches, which is very much something that I've had in the dating sim. Wow, okay. I should mm -hmm. use it. What am I doing? I should play MZ. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, hey, if if your project is big enough that you can't easily jump over to MZ without there being like fundamental reworks, I would very much recommend that you stay in MV because you know how it works in and out. Yeah. That's why it's very good to decide on your engine before you start the project. Like the like the project that I'm going to be working on for September, I finally solidified that it's going to be an MZ and I'm not going to try it in MV. Yeah, that's a good point. Ah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah. And that's a lesson in less than two hours. Yep. Part one. And in it, we figured out, like, 70% of what it takes to make an RPG maker visual novel. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I am not exaggerating when this is the- when I say this is the large majority of it. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so next time I'll learn, be learning a little more advanced stuff, like the audio engineering. Yep. Yep. Mm. Uh, can we get a little bit of a preview, like, uh, how you handle that kind of thing? Oh, sure. Let me go send a little screenshot of how I handle it in Desperation Reincarnation. I'm okay. not going to do fawning over a corpse because it uses much as audio engine, and I don't think I want to use it in future projects. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Just gotta pull up MV for this and pop it into a event. Okay. What would we be posting in the voice chat? Yeah, I'm gonna be in the voice chat area. Okay, gotcha. Meanwhile, okay, hey. here's a screenshot of a sc of a sound effect, a background noise, and a background song. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So mind you, I did I did something very specific so I can make it play multiple multiple background sounds and background songs within within the same moment but we will talk about that later because that involves actually going into the files and deleting something holy shit that's cool yeah mm -hmm. that is advanced stuff over there yeah. um also don't underestimate the power of comments y'all really save a life <laughs> yep I kept those comments when I was just writing out the game and I hadn't put in any sound effects yet and I still kept them in because it just helped me figure out where I was within the event. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yep. yep, so like the door jingle sound effect is my is my little heads up that oh this is the beginning of the event because this is where this is where Jesse is coming in. Mm-hmm. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say or plug before we call it for this time? Mm, I would say play fawning over a corpse for the yeah. 18th RPG Maker <laughs> Horror Jam. Yeah, y'all comment and play it. Highly recommend mm -hmm. it. We've covered it twice, yep. and you should cover it all the time because mm -hmm. it's an amazing yep. game. And because the big bug that kept that kept hurting some people is finally fixed for real because we figured out the root issue and we busted it. <laughs> yeah. Um What was happening actually, if you don't mind talking about how you busted it? Oh, okay, sure. So for the title screen, it was an event, right? This <laughs> this is set up, it is important. And I had to set it up so this way I had a plugin that would say, oh, if you click this picture, it'll do this because I did all this with pictures and events. Mm -hmm. And like, say, new game was picture number 10, right? This is important. Yeah. 
What I forgot to do was not only did I forget to delete the to delete the plugin command that says, oh, listen for picture number 10. And if a picture number 10 is called, make it clickable. Yeah. And what happened was that the CG that kept booting people to the beginning of the game was picture number 10. So the game would game was constantly listening for a picture ID labeled 10. And when that CG came up, it said, oh, this is the new game picture. So some people were advancing it with a mouse instead of a space bar like I was. So they would click it and they would instantly get booted back to the beginning of the game. Oh, no. Yeah. So what I did was two things. First of all, in the events for the title screen, I had it set to new game. So it would stop listening for pictures number 10 and 15. And then after that, the CG, I had set instead of 10 to 12, it was 3 to 5. Because I never had problems with 3 and 4. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Definitely something that you have to keep in mind if you're doing, like, clickable pictures. Okay. So That's pretty much it. It was so simple, but it plagued me for so long because of the way that I fast-forwarded through the game. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. When you're doing stuff, you, it's hard to catch the things like that that might happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Thank you so much for coming on and teaching us how to get started on this and get the ball Thank rolling. Thank you for having me on stream. <laughs> Again, you can catch them at Awesome Trinket on Twitter. Mm-hmm.